Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be a Walmart grocery haul. Um, we're about to go pick up our groceries, but before we do, I want to show you guys something behind me that I just purchased the other day at a local thrift store for $85. This is my new pantry. It's quite large. Yeah. Um, what we had in our house before was just like a, um, like a tall utility cabinet it was like a hard plastic um, if you guys are new here or you just don't know we live in a very small mobile home so our house isn't equipped with like a walk-in pantry or like a cabinet or anything like that we have very few cabinets just for plates and pots and pans and all that but we make it work but over the years this pantry that we well utility cabinet that we turned into a pantry it just started to kind of break the shelves started to kind of fall and it was just a nightmare and I told my husband that I really needed a new pantry and this is exactly what I envisioned which is totally weird um he was going to build me one but you know he just worked so much that it just it just wasn't going to work for him to just take the time to build me something so I saw this and I knew immediately this is it this is what I want it is really nice. It is in my living room, but that's okay because with the kitchen being so small, um, this actually looks like a piece of furniture. So you would never know that behind these doors is where we put our food. That's what I like about it is it just looks really nice in here. So with us not having a lot of space, it works. It works just fine. So I want to show you guys um, the inside of it before I go pick up my groceries. Okay, y'all, so this is the front of the pantry. Again, it is in my living room, but it really does look like a nice piece of furniture, and we are really excited to have it. Um, it looks like that someone put maybe some molding around the top, maybe as like an afterthought. Um, my husband seems to think so anyway, but we're not sure. Um, it is white, but... There are some stains and things like that on it, but that's okay because we're going to sand all this down and we're going to repaint it a bright white color. And I'm also going to put some liners inside of the shelves. Okay, so I decided on these Pioneer Woman. Um, these are the Petal Party non-adhesive shelf liners. I really love um, these colors. I have a lot of things that are Pioneer Woman and I like the ones that don't stick. That way you can just pull them out and clean out your cabinets or whatever if you need to. So yeah, I just chose these. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll just see once we start the project. Okay, y'all. So before I show you the inside of it, I wanted to show you that it was $85. So that is a really, really good price for a piece of furniture like this. Okay, here's a quick overview of the inside. You can see there's a bar back there. Um, originally, I believe this was a wardrobe for clothes, but whoever had it decided to put some shelving in there. So I thought this is perfect for a pantry. These are not sturdy. Um, we're actually going to kind of um, anchor these so you know it's not so heavy on these shelves. But for now, I'm just putting in like light stuff, you know, things that don't really weigh a whole lot. And, um, so yeah, three of these shelves are, you know, needing security. These are heavy. These are, you know, very strong shelves. So I was able to put, you know, more like heavier things like canned foods and jars and things like that. And then down here, same thing, um, heavier things. And then down here, I was able to put one of my instant pots and I've got my rice and sugar and flour and all that good stuff. So yeah. But yeah, we're going to repaint this a bright white color, so I'm really excited. So um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. I'm kind of busy right now, but be looking out for a pantry uh, makeover and organization video um, really soon. So yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and go and pick up groceries, and when I get back, I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, y'all, so we're back from Walmart, and everything I got today was from Walmart. I didn't go to Super One this week like I have been going. Um, I spent right around $350 and this is breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, extra things for about eight or nine days depending on if we have leftovers and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start over here at the produce. Um, I got a bag of 
baby red potatoes, a five pound bag of russet potatoes. I got a bag of these honey crisp apples, um, a bag of yellow onions, a bunch of organic bananas, lemons, um, the little uh, small mandarins. And back here I got three green bell peppers, 10 ears of corn. I got some cilantro, a bunch of green onions, a bag of baby spinach. I got a bag of baby carrots. And then back here, I got a whole bunch of turnip greens. So that's what's in these bags. I think that they put like, I don't know, three or four in each one. So yeah, I got about, I think there's eight bunches in there total. Okay, and for meat, I got some boneless pork chops some bacon, a roll of Jimmy Dean regular sausage, some black forest ham, and two packages of Mount Italian sausage links. I wanted um, fresh chicken breast tenderloins, but they didn't have them, so I got these as a substitution, which is fine. These are good. Um, so I got the frozen um, chicken breast tenderloins, and then I got two of the one pound rolls of ground beef, and then I got a five pound roll of ground beef as well. I got a bag of Italian style cheese, a bag of pizza blend cheese, uh, a big bag of sharp cheddar, and then I've got um, this uh, package of the smoked sliced provolone cheese, two packages of cream cheese, a package of unsalted butter, sour cream, heavy cream, um, the simply orange orange juice and one gallon of milk. Okay, I got a box of the um, 12 pack of the shrimp ramen and then I got a 12 pack of the chicken ramen. Back here, I got a bag of the honey buzzer cereal. Okay, I got a box of the, um, this is the two pound box of spaghetti, uh, 35 count of Ozarka bottled water. I got the kids the variety pack of the sweet and salty granola bars. These are the peanut, almond, and cashew ones. These are pretty good. And then I got the um, Super Moist Triple Chocolate Fudge Cake Mixes. I got two of those. I'm going to do actually cookies with those. Pretty good. And for cans, I got two cans of cream of mushroom. Um, we also got onion powder and um, some parsley. Um, I got two of the four packs of tuna. A jar of pesto. I got a can of these um, mushrooms. Um, pieces and stems, a can of green beans. I already had some, so I just needed a little bit more for a recipe this week. And then I got two cans of these, um, it's the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I got two cans of these sliced stewed tomatoes. I got two cans of ranch style beans, um, one can of diced tomatoes, and a can of tomato sauce. I got two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. I got some more um, active dry yeast. And then packages like sauces and stuff. I needed brown gravy for a couple of recipes. And also I got um, two packages of fajita seasoning mix. Over here, I need a chicken broth, so I got two cartons of those. Okay, for frozen foods, I got a bag of tater tots, a bag of crinkle cut fries, two bags of the broccoli florets, um, cheese tortellini. I needed that for a recipe, so I got two of those. Actually, I only wanted one. Um, it was like a different size bag, but they didn't have that, so they just went ahead and substituted for two of those. The kids are really loving smoothies right now, so I'm just trying to stock up on different um, types of fruits. So they really like the uh, mixed fruit. These is um, the pineapple, strawberry, peaches, and mango. So I got that. And then, of course, um, I just got some regular pineapple because some of them like that by itself. So, yeah, they really, really are enjoying um, smoothies in the new smoothie maker. I got three bags of whole kernel corn. I got a small bag, and then I got uh, two of these two-pound bags. Okay, y'all, so that is the grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys again in another video. Bye.